Hi, I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read a story called Madeline Finn and the Shelter Dog. Madeline Finn and the Shelter Dog. Okay, I'm going to read you the story. I ask mom every single day in the morning, in the evening, when we are out, and finally, she says yes. Hello, Madeline Finn, Mrs. Dimple says when we arrive. Your mom says you are ready to pick out one of Bonnie's puppies. <coughs> <coughs> yes, please, I say. But first, I give Bonnie a big hug. Hi, Bonnie. I'm so excited. I can't decide which puppy to choose. I love them more, I tell Mom. Why don't you see if someone picks you? Mrs. Stimple says. So I close my eyes and think of the name I picked for my puppy. Star, I whispered, and the littlest one crawls right into my lap. Oh, he says, we are soft. It works. Is this how you choose, Bonnie? Not quiet, Mrs. Dimple said. There are lots of ways to find animals. Do you know what a shelter is? I look at Mom. A shelter is a place where animals wait for good homes, she says. Like a hotel, I ask. Sort of, Mrs. Dimple says. Except the animals want homes where they can stay forever. They need forever homes. How many animals are there? Do they have snakes? It's not a zoo, Mrs. Dimple explains. But there are lots of... But there are lots of dogs and cats. I volunteer at the shelter. Bonnie comes too. Why don't you join us sometime? Can we, Mom? I ask. We'd love to, Mom says. Before we go, Mrs. Dimple says, Madeline Finn, you have a new job now. Lots of, with lots of responsibilities. Then she tells me everything I need to do, like walking Star and feeding him and making sure he was a safe place to sleep. But the most important thing, she says, is love. I love his star, I say when I feed him. I love his star, I say when I read to him. I love his star, I say when I talk him. It's okay, star, I say when I, when he has an accident on the floor. I love you. On Saturday, Mrs. Dimple invites us to the shelter. Thank you for the donations, the lady tells Mrs. Dimple. Then she smiles at me. My name is Miss Ivy. Would you like to meet some of our animals? Hi, I say to the first dog I see, but he doesn't even wag his tail. The sign of his cage says his name is Mr. Chips. We met lots of dogs and cats, and even some bodies and birds. They weren't in homes, I ask. Miss Ivy nods. She seems a little sad. I think Mr. Chips is sad too. Mom, I ask when we get home, do shelter dogs get to play outside? Probably not as much as Star. Do shelter dogs get to sleep under baskets? Uh, under blankets? Not sure, honey. Mr. Dimple says, love was most important, I say. That's right, dear. Mom, does anyone tell the shelter dogs they love them? Mom is quiet. Then she gives me a big hug. Maybe you can you can show them. The next day, I rummage, rummage through our lined closet. The sign at the shelter said they need towels. I say, can we bring some? I bet they would like that, Mom says. Oh, Miss Evans is happy to see us. Oh, thank you, Madeline Finn. She says, these will make soft beds for the animals. But when we live, I noticed there weren't enough towels for all the animals. And Mr. Chip still looks sad. I love you, Star. When Mom talks in, I say, Star loves when I read to him. He sure does, sweetie. Mom? Yes, dear. Does anyone wait to shelter dogs? In the morning, we talk about this, I, about my new idea. And Star and I spend all week collecting towers and blankets from the neighborhoods. 
I make special signs, and Mrs. Stimple helps me hang them in the library. Saturday, 10 o'clock. Come read to the shelter animals. Bring a blanket and a book. On Friday night, I barely sleep. I'm so excited. When Saturday comes, I'm ready. So is Star. But when we arrive, it's just us. Nobody else came, I tell Star. Oof, he says real soft. I'm glad you're here, I'm sorry, he says when I hand, hand her the blankets and tower. Why don't you get started? The next dog perks up his ears when I read to him. The, even the cats around the corner are listening. But after my fifth story, I'm still the only one here. I don't have enough books or enough blankets. I know, I know. Then I hear footsteps. Bonnie came first. Behind here are lots of kids and lots of books and lots of blankets. Surya light, I heard the parents say that there was a crowd at the library checking out books. Wow. Miss Ivy shows everyone how to sit with the dogs and read to him. Read to them. Pretty soon the shelter looks like a library. Did everyone get a story? I asked Mom. I think so, sweetie. And a blanket? Mm hmm. Or must. Take a look. I pick around the corner. Mr. Chip didn't get a blanket. He was going home in one. Mr. Chip's find a new family today, Mrs. Simple says. He's getting a real home. Wow. A forever home, I say, and Sir lets out a giant oof sound. Okay, so today I read your story, The Mandeline Finn and the Shelter Dog. Oh, this book's picture is so pretty. And there's another book in this series. This. This Mandeline Finn and the Therapy Dog. Okay, so I'll read you this next time. Oh, and I love this picture. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.